doing a control experiment using vinegar, lemon juice, and these type of kombuchas that I made. And then from here, we're doing at least 50 grams of uh, protein, which is a chicken we're using, and then 20 grams of liquid, and all going to be in a vacuum uh, sealed bag for at least 24 hours. As we're using the chicken, we're turning it into small pieces uh, so it can uh, marinate for those 24 hours. Now, the reason why we're doing this is we want to see how reactive this is. Now, normally when you get anything acidic, you can't use the marinated uh, juices. It just turns into a pancake. And one of my observations is when I took the date kabucha and marinated it, and I actually was able to reduce it, and there was not this pancake thing. So that's where I, this all started from the first place. My team and I thought, perhaps it's the pectin. Now, after 24 hours, this will look like, and the lemon was the most cooked it looked like. What I was expecting was the lemon was going to be the most reactive with the vinegar, and then the quince was going to be the least. And that wasn't the case. As you can see here, once it's cooked, you see the lemon's the least reactive because you can see the proteins on the side, and then the vinegar and the quince was the most reactive, as you can see the quince was the most. But then the vinegar, when it was completely reduced, had the most compared to the quince. And so what we've learned here is that pectin isn't a factor because there is no pectin in carrot, and it wasn't that reactive, as you've noticed. What I've learned is I need to do more experimenting and research.